I think there are three types of toxicity. There's gameplay toxicity, which is doing something within the game with the intent to make the other side angry. There would be something like teabagging, playing a strong killer with a strong build, and then like humping survivors on the ground, slugging for the 4k, just letting people bleed out. All of this I wouldn't consider gameplay toxicity, which is annoying, but usually it's kind of just a short term thing that will make you mad for about like 10 minutes, but that's it. Then there is nerd toxicity, which is insulting the other person's build, uh, their skill level, the killer they're playing, how they played. Again, kind of annoying and a bit toxic, but I would say it's usually pretty harmless if it doesn't happen too often, like it's not the worst thing in the world. And then the final form of toxicity is loser toxicity, where you actually insult the person themselves. You try to get them docs, you try to like DDoS them, all of that stuff, just loser crap. And while I think getting rid of toxicity in any game is pretty much impossible, there are a few ways you can reduce it. I have two ideas that I think would be kind of major for this, and then one other minor idea. These are things behavior could add quite easily just to kind of help reduce toxicity. The first one would be a commendation system. Now, if you don't know, you can already give people commendations in Dead by Daylight. But as far as we know, for the last 10 years, this commendation system has never actually done anything. Behavior has never used it for anything. They don't, I don't even think they keep track of it. What I think they should do with it is instead of having to click twice, you just have the thumb up thing just ready right away. So you could, it could just be one click away. And if you give someone a commendation, it'll like keep track of how much they've gotten and once they hit let's say 50 commendations they get like 100k blood points and like 500 shards like 50 commendations that would be a lot assuming all four other players commend you that's still a lot and that's like what 10 12 games just to get it so it wouldn't be anything crazy but it could be a way for you to tell people that hey it was fun to play with you or play against you you could commend the killer or other survivors too and also if you were playing with friends or eq into someone again you could only give them a commendation every 24 hours just so people like can't farm you know you would always give your friends commendation you know and yeah that would be pretty much it you might get a little notification in like the bottom right saying you've been commended for like excellent gameplay or good sportsmanship just anything like that the second feature would be a role incentive so how this feature would work would be for example every survivor game you play it adds a five percent incentive for killer and it would have a cap of maybe like 200 percent so if i'm like if i'm like a dedicated survivor main and i play 40 games of survivor i would get like a 200 bonus for a killer game how this would reduce toxicity is that people would try to play the other side more and then if you play the other side more you obviously have more empathy for it other than being a dedicated killer main or a dedicated survivor main you know just so you can see through the lens of the other side so i think again this wouldn't be anything major it would just be like a slight incentive that builds up every game you play for a role and once you play that role it just gets rid of the incentive it like resets it and the last one I don't think anyone's ever like suggested an idea like this, but I used to play this game called Brawlhalla and when they had end game chat, they ended up removing it. But when they had end game chat, there would be a little button you could press just one button. It would, it was X. So you could just press a button and it would just type GG for you. I think, you know, that was just a cute little idea where it would saying GG would literally just be a button away. So the amount of people that would say GG and go next, I think would increase by a little bit. If you want to be toxic, obviously that's having a button that says GG is not going to stop you, but I think it would just help the game be a little bit less toxic. And yeah, those are kind of my ideas to reduce toxicity. Obviously, it's never going away. And, you know, gameplay toxicity and nerd toxicity, as I mentioned, I don't think they're harmful. Like, you usually forget about them within like 30 minutes. If someone is going to harass you, like commenting on your profile, if you're streaming, if they're going on your stream, that's what I call loser toxicity. And that just sucks. You know, behavior should probably ban people that do that. But like the first two, I don't think they should be bannable. And because they're really not that big of a deal. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.